name is Zoe and I'm one of the Community Outreach Coordinators at the Connecticut Humane Society. Today, we're going to be talking about what types of human foods are safe and unsafe for our pups. While there are many safe snacks that we can feed our pups, it's important that we don't feed them a lot of table scraps, as this can often lead to digestive issues. As owners, we have to be extra cautious in what foods we are feeding our dogs outside of their normal diet, as some foods that we as humans consume can actually be pretty harmful to our dogs. Foods such as grapes can actually be pretty toxic for dogs. While the exact substance in the grape that causes this toxicity is still unknown, consuming even a couple could cause kidney failure, which could even be fatal if left untreated. One of the more commonly known dangerous foods is chocolate. Chocolate contains something called theobromine. While humans can metabolize this molecule, dogs and many other animals cannot. Consuming large amounts of chocolate could cause problems, ranging from seizures to internal bleeding. Theobromine can also be found in some types of coffee beans, as well as tea. Dogs are more sensitive to caffeine than humans are, and while a little unsuspected lick of a caffeinated drink should not hurt your dog, if moderate amounts are consumed, your dog could begin to vomit, or in extreme cases, even collapse. Onions are another dangerous food for dogs. They contain compounds called disulfides, and theosulfates, which are toxic to dogs. If onions are consumed, it can result in damage to red blood cells, which can cause anemia in the dogs. This also includes anything in the onion family, including shallots, scallions, chives, and garlic, which is actually five times as potent as onions. One dangerous substance that can be found in common items is xylitol. Xylitol is a lower calorie sugar substitute commonly found in sugar-free gums, candy, and jello as well as toothpaste, mouthwash, and most importantly, some types of peanut butter. Small amounts consumed by dogs can cause low blood sugar, otherwise known as hypoglycemia, and also puts dogs at risk of liver failure. Xylitol is becoming increasingly popular in common items, so it's very important that we always check ingredients before feeding an item to our dog, and make sure that any food item that does include xylitol is stored away from our pups. Other dangerous foods include avocado, macadamia nuts, apple seeds, cherry pits, yeast dough, meat bones, salt, chives, almond, citrus, gum, and a variety of candies. There are a lot of safe foods which can be used as treat alternatives for our dogs. However, it's especially important to note that these foods should never replace a dog's daily diet and be no more than 10% of their daily intake, as there are many important ingredients in our dog's food that help them stay healthy by providing the proper nutrients. Blueberries have lots of antioxidants, fiber, as well as vitamin C and K. These nutrients help support the immune system and contribute to overall health of our pups, just like they do for humans. Apples are a great source of fiber, as well as vitamins A and C. They are low in protein and fat, which often makes them a great snack, especially for our older dogs. Make sure to remove the seeds as well as core and cut the pieces small enough for your pup. Bananas are another fun treat for dogs. You can give them a piece of a normal cut up banana, or they can be frozen for a different type of texture. While bananas are a good source of potassium, it's important to remove the peel, as this can be hard for a dog to digest. Peas are another great source of vitamins and minerals. Similar to blueberries, they can be easily given as treats because they are so small. It is important to note to never feed a dog with any form of kidney issues peas, as this can cause further concerns. Carrots are a great low-calorie snack for your pup that's high in fiber. Plus, crunching on these carrots can be beneficial for your dog's teeth. There are many other safe human foods for your pups, including cantaloupe, mangoes, strawberries, watermelon, green beans, cucumbers, and so many more. I encourage you to do some research and pay special attention to your dog when adding in new foods as possible allergies could occur, including skin or ear irritations. And, as always, contact your vet if you ever have any questions or concerns. Mm -hmm.